Bible says they will know that we're his disciples by the love we have for one for another. Just think about that in a community. Think about a community that really truly has love one for another, that are not moved by the circumstances of what's happening in their community from a negative perspective, but seeing how can I better the community that I'm a part of. I felt like so more, so much more equipped to go out and share the gospel, um, so much more equipped to pray with other people, and so much of that had to do with like the adult leaders um, that we were able to look up to and seek for. Uh, go to for like help and advice and stuff. I haven't been super like open with my faith I feel like and so then like we would come together at Ridgeview and then we would like pray with each other and we would just be more open and that was a cool way to just like develop and like grow in faith and then um, when we went out on the harbor one of the days like just talking to random people and I'm not super like outgoing to just strangers just people I've never met and so that was so cool to like just be able to talk to people about Jesus and just pray for people. The word that I, I could I could title it, I would say, was being, being intentional. You know, throughout the whole week, um, being intentional about praying for all these different um, areas of the society. So I thank you for this vessel, Lord, and I ask, Father, that you'll keep showing him your ways, Father, and keep guiding him, Father, wherever he needs to go, Lord. Yeah, that's crazy. I ain't never had a, nobody pray for me like that. I ain't gonna lie to you. I pray for myself a day, and that, that was really good, my boy. You got that one a little lot. Me and a friend of mine have uh, made a goal to like pray with every, pray with one person at least um, every day. As the church comes together, not just this church, but the churches, when that unity is seen, when we're going out in the community. I was out yesterday, and people see and they hear. We're not. We went to the police station, and, and we we told them we're from multiple different churches, and I can see this look on their face, like, okay, so what? What is this? It kind of freaked them out a little bit initially, but. It was really cool because it's powerful. Like I skipped school one of the days on Wednesday um, and got to help lead worship and that was a, that was really cool. That felt like worship, like it didn't feel like I was performing on a stage, like it felt like it was just me and God. I feel like for a really long part of my life, like things have been so rigid for me and it's been like not necessarily legalism but like you worship this way and like you do things this way and so being able to come to exalt um, and like see all these different people praising different ways and um, like just carrying themselves differently like seeing people with a genuine love for Christ was really inspiring um, and kind of just reminded me that loving Jesus is sweet having all of these different people come like you're not alone and not only at the high school but like in the community there are so many people um, and then, like I said, not only within the community, but like the people came from Korea. Like uh, we Korean teams came to this nation for the revival to come again in this nation because we believe that the younger generations could rise up again and be used as his tools for his nation and his glory and his kingdom. I don't, I don't feel like I felt before like the Holy Spirit like filled an area so much like it did in that. No one particular moment just because there were so many believers and like um, there was just it was just such a powerful moment in time yeah but then at exalt getting to see all of the believers my age like down there worshiping and like wow this is like the next generation of leaders and believers that that was very inspiring but i feel like things like exalt are the closest that you get on this earth to heaven, being able to like really commune with other believers and commune with Christ in a way that you were designed to. That's what God demonstrates His own love towards us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. It's the love of Christ that can that can overcome death and sin in our lives. God demonstrates His love, so He doesn't. God doesn't just tell us. He what? No, no I say He just doesn't tell us. He shows us. Mm -hmm. How did He show us His love? What did He say? What did He do? If you've never put all of your trust in Jesus, si usted nunca ha confiado completamente en Jesús, would you be willing to come and stand in the middle of this service? for the revival and great awakening for this nation. Oramos por el avivamiento y el despertar de esta nación. And now we see those in this very place. This is a revival, Lord.
everybody leaves throughout our lives, throughout our days, you know, we can carry on what we had um, learned, what we what we applied and we, we what we saw as new because like at the end of the day that's what um, this generation is looking for, the truth. So if they can just see that, um, that's that's just something that they're gonna have a desire to follow, the truth. So be intentional about bringing the truth.